Welcome to Pet Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt. And I'm Dr. Carrie. And this is gonna be a different video today because we have an audience. We are talking at... <laughs> we're talking to all the vet students at Texas A&M University. <laughs> all right, here you go. My yeah. wife is texting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. My sister was like, why are you nervous? You speak to millions of people all the time, but you can look at it two ways. I speak to millions of people, but also I'm just talking to a camera in a room all by myself. So it's, <laughs> it's totally different. We want to talk about the pros of social media and uh, how much it's helped us. This is a, something Allie doesn't want me to talk about. Allie made a video. This is my sister Allie, by the way. Um, she made a video filming our family dog, a black lab, playing with uh, a deer. Um, no, 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 no. Just type in Dr. Steer. We'll just play a little piece of it. Um, and it went super viral. It went on the Ellen show. Um, it uh, went on CNN. It went all around Japan and went kind of crazy. It's so weird. Um, and, uh, and that was... Yeah, play that one. No, you probably shouldn't. I don't know what that is. This one. Yep. Oh, no. So five million views. Just gotta watch this Walmart ad first. Um, and it went, it went super viral and basically kind of showed me the power of social media. And I thought, well, man, this is really cool. And I tried to replicate um, that, that level of virality. But it's cute, right? So this is what started it all years ago. Um, and I tried for a couple years to, to mimic this success. Uh, <laughs> See what I mean? It's great. And I, I couldn't, basically. And um, then I realized that there were other big YouTube channels coming up. And it was because they were kind of focusing. They were, they were doing something they were really passionate about and focusing it uh, into a bunch of videos. And they were making... <laughs> Ellen loved this. And, and they were making a bunch of videos that were kind of uh, focused about something they were interested in. And so I was interested in firearms, so I started Demolition Ranch in uh, vet school in 2011. You don't want to wait until Allie's voice comes on there? No, I'm going to do that. She really wanted to hear herself. Um, and so we started Demolition Ranch, and uh, basically I didn't tell anyone. I started vet school, and I didn't want anyone to know because I didn't have any followers, and it was just this weird thing I was doing in vet school. Judd knew about it. This is Dr. Carey's husband. We were real close in vet school. Real weirdly close. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, but, but Judd made fun of me. I got, a, I got a, invited to a YouTuber conference in Austin. I had like 500 subscribers, so they thought I was important enough to invite to a conference. And Judd wouldn't leave me alone about it. He made so much fun of me. Look at me now. I think he invited me back. <laughs> Once we hit like 10,000 subscribers, I was like, yeah, this is really going good. If there's 10,000 people who like what we're doing here, there's probably 100,000. I just need to go find the rest of them. And so we eventually got 100,000, and that's when Vet Ranch kind of came to be because I was like, well, maybe we should use this social media power to do something a little more worthwhile and uh, not just for fun because Demolition Ranch, I don't know if any of you people have watched it, except that guy up there. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone's watched it, but it's, it's just entertainment only and it's stupid entertainment and uh, it's just fun. I got a call from my clients, I was doing emergencies, and she called me and said that there was this dog hit by a car. It was on the side of the road, she found it on the side of the road. And it was dying and there was a police officer there who was about to shoot it, but that's what they're supposed to do, apparently. The dog was obviously gonna die. And she was like, I really don't want him to shoot it. Will you come up here and get the dog and euthanize it? And I was like, okay. I was at the gym, so I was like dressed in gym clothes. And I was like, okay, so I, I get in my truck and I go and I meet her on the road. And I get to this dog and the side's all open, the skin's all like hanging off the side of it. The dog is totally unconscious, has you know, cuts and blood everywhere. And it's like, like, she looks like she's about to die. And I told the officer, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take her, I'm a vet, I'll take her to my clinic, which is like a minute away and I'll euthanize her. And so I put her in the back of my truck and she was like covered in blood and nasty and I was like, she's not gonna move any. And I drove like the minute to my clinic and when I got out of my truck, I thought she'd maybe moved a little bit. She still was not conscious, but I was like, she seems like she's in a different position than where I left her. And so I carry her in the clinic 
and I set her down, and I go and I get the drugs to euthanize her, and they come back, and she like she looks at me, she looks right in my eye, and I was like, she's she's still with it, and I was like, I'll just I'll try, and so I put a catheter in her, I start bolusing her fluids and steroids, and and uh, get her kind of stabilized, and then I was like, well, this might be my perfect intro to Vet Ranch. We hadn't named it Vet Ranch yet, but my perfect intro to the Vet Channel. And so I started filming it, and I filmed it, and eventually the owners found out that their dog had been hit. They called the clinic. They found out that I had not, I'd been working with the dog for like two hours. And so they thought I'd already euthanized it, because that's what the people had told them I had done. And so they found out I hadn't euthanized it, and they came to the clinic, and they sat there with me while I sutured it up for the next few hours, and um, the, dog's, the dog did great. She, she did really well. She's still alive today. And, and that was my first video on Vet Ranch that kind of got it all started. And that's where I kind of got direction with the channel. I didn't really know what I wanted to do before that. But after that, I was like, I want to just rescue dogs that don't have, or not necessarily dogs, animals that don't have anyone else to pay the bill, don't have anyone else to take care of. And my plan was, we make, we make money off these videos, advertisement money. That's like that ad is all playing for this. And, but it's like a fraction of a cent per view, not very much money. And so I thought we'd use that money to fund more animals, but I found out pretty quickly that we just could not make enough money to do anything. Like we were going bankrupt, bankrupt with this channel. And I was like getting ready to shut it down because I was like, I can't afford to do this channel anymore. But we kept getting people asking us to help, asking to donate. And so we went ahead and started a nonprofit. Well, I guess first, before that happened, one of my family friends donated $2,500. And that money was, it totally changed the outcome for one dog. There was this one dog that was really expensive. His name was Jax, and he's on the channel. Um, and it was just, I wasn't going to be able to afford all the stuff that he needed. But they gave us $2,500, which was enough to cover his bills, plus a few more. And that's what kind of convinced me that we need to start the nonprofit and start taking donations. And so we did. And donations started coming in from all over the world because we have this social media presence. Then we eventually had more money than we could handle, um, more more money than time to take care of all these animals. So in comes Dr. Carey. Um, I reached out to her and a few of my other friends who um, I knew were interested in, in this kind of work. And uh, I'll, I'll let you kind of talk about how you got into it. So I own a practice with my husband in Greenville, Texas, which is north of Dallas. and. Initially, when Matt asked us, he sent kind of a message to everybody, and we didn't really, you know, we didn't really know what to think about it. I mean, we're just—I'm not a person that really wants to film myself. It's awkward. Super um, awkward. <laughs> except, except that we just have those cases. So every clinic just has cases that come in that have no owners or that are hit by, you know, hit by car. The same exact thing he's talking about. And, you know, at the end of the day, my husband, who is my business partner and practices large animal in our practice, um, he said, you know what, this is a good thing because she's going to do this no matter what. She's going to take these animals in. She's going to fix them. She's going to find them a home. So why not have, you know, some kind of financial backing for this so that I don't bankrupt our business? And Matt was really mean to me. And he said, you know, I would probably start with like an ingrown toenail or something. <laughs> So then I was like, you know what, I'm going to get a dog that just looks terrible and has defects, right? Like, I, I feel like I can probably get a dog with defects. I hope it doesn't die. Like, the is going to die. This, the number one video on our channel has 3.3 million views. Look at its face. That's Dr. Carey's. That, was, that, is that, my, that wasn't my first video, actually. I had a dog with a uh, puppy with a jaw fracture. Yeah, but that, but that was my first video, and I was like, eh, this video is okay, like it's nothing epic where I'm just saving something from the brink of death, but that video went crazy, it has so many views, and we were all shocked, because I was yeah. like, this is so, whatever, it's Gmodex, we do this all the time. And it got so many more donations, I mean, this, we don't spend a whole lot of money on a, on a Gmodex case, of course, you just treat them with a few meds and time, basically, but... People saw this and it like really hit them in the heartstrings, and then they all wanted to help with everything else we do. And so it really brought a whole lot of donations. And at that point, like you know, before Carrie was like, "Can I do this?" and I was like, oh, "That's that's going to be pretty expensive. I don't know." You know, and then after this, I was like, "Do whatever you want, Carrie." Like, <laughs> donations to cover it. So now Carrie's like giving dog cataract surgeries and stuff, and I'm like, "Go for it," you know. And that case cost us a lot more to fix than the dog with Demodex. That well, and, and in that case, we didn't get enough donations after that to cover the cost of the cataract surgery, but the other videos made up for it. Right. I mean, social media is, is really tough. 
social media opens you up to all the liability like that. It opens you up to someone scrutinizing everything you're doing and saying, oh, you did this wrong, or you should have done this, or you know, whatever. But it also, I mean, none of this bad range stuff, we have a hundred and something videos, and none of it would be possible without social media. So I just kind of want to show y'all that it's, it's worth it. And so a lot of vet clinic owners find it hard to find the, um, not only the time, but the, the desire to build a social media presence because it's like, you know, taking just even just taking a picture for a Facebook page is going to take you at least ten minutes to go get the dog to smile, look at the camera, and everything. Yeah, and and, and and it's time that you could be doing something that would actually make you money right now. You could be going and seeing Mrs. Jones' dog and fixing that ear infection right now. Um, do you guys want to see a video, or do you have more questions, or do you want to? Video? Video? Yeah. Let me just say really quick, we are at two separate practices, and we have another vet that's at a completely different practice, and we get emails and messages all the time, people that are like, I want to come to the vet ranch, and it's like, there, it's just, it's on the internet. It's an internet place <laughs> where we help animals. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 
So uh, you guys show a lot of stuff in these videos, like different procedures. What do you, how do you decide what's too much and what to show? We're still learning as we go on that too. Yeah, we had an issue with like content getting flagged <coughs> for being graphic. So the, the viewers would flag it, like the, mm -hmm. YouTube wouldn't like take it down, like viewers would flag it, they'd be like, whoa, that's graphic, and they'd flag it, and then it would like take it down. If enough people flag it, one person flag it, it's not gonna take it down, but if enough did, so I was like, told Kara, I was like, we can't show graphic stuff anymore or we're gonna get this whole thing shut down. And so we quit showing graphic stuff, but we just didn't like it, it wasn't real. And I think that's what made our channel cool is that it was, it was people could kind of look right into the veterinary life and see what it's like. And then when we didn't have that, I didn't, I wasn't having as much fun making the videos. And so we just started like, huh? A lot of people got mad. Yeah, a lot of people got mad when we took all the graphics. <laughs> oh yeah, and somebody um, accused me of, what was it? CGI. Like, CGIing all my surgeries. <laughs> and they're like, I know that dog still actually has a leg. And it's just CGI'd out, so I, you're not fooling me. <laughs> but, so now, now what we do is we just put this huge card at the start of the video that says, warning, graphic, intraoperative, you know, surgical footage coming up. And, yeah, and, and then that, like the then they, seconds you know, where it's at, so people can just yeah, look Yeah, and then the people who it. don't want to see it aren't grossed out and surprised, and so hopefully they won't lag. It seems to be working so far. Yes? Y'all plan on expanding and adding more events to the channel? That's, that's in the works. Right now, like, we have this, this internet thing that it's helping out, you know, just our area. And it'd be cool if we were kind of helping out other states and that kind of thing. More questions? Okay. Thank you all for having us. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We'll see you next time. Woo!